Jake Paul just dropped a diss track on UFC president and an owner. They ain't no white. What is happening? Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Crypto. Welcome back to another video or to your first video. If this is the first time you're ever seeing me, I'm a rapper myself. I'm actually dropping a song next Friday. Pre-save link is in the description if you guys want to help your boy out on some pre-saves. But today, I'm going to be checking out this Dana White diss track that Jake Paul just dropped. And I'm going to be looking at it from a rapper's perspective, okay? I'm going to be seeing if the bars hit, if the disses really punch this dude in the mouth like a UFC fighter would. Also, you know, pay attention to the flow, the cadences, the lyricism like all this stuff that makes a rap song a good rap song and see how my man did but first i do want to give an awesome shout out to the sponsor of this video manscape valentine's day is just around the corner and you guys need to snag yourself the performance package to make yourself in pristine condition for the events that can transpire from valentine's day like the box says your balls will definitely thank you mine have but it comes with the lawnmower 4.0 i have another one downstairs that i use this is brand new in the package i've been using this for over a year now and have not even come close to nicking myself it's waterproof it's cordless it's got a light on it so you can see everything that you're doing but it also comes with a crop reviver and a crop preserver and these two things are some of the most important things you could ever have as a man when you get out of the shower just drop a little bit of the preserver on there spread it around and you literally stay smelling great all day long it also comes with a weed whacker so you can keep your nose hair cleared and your ear hair clear and it also comes with two free gifts a magic mat so you can put it underneath you whenever you're shaving but also the anti-chafing boxers which i swear by absolutely incredible for bigger guys like me i have like 30 pair it's the only boxers that i will wear because it's anti-chafing it feels great it makes you feel great and if you use code crypt 20 and click my link in the description you get 20 percent off and it's free worldwide shipping so go do that and snag it before valentine's day so you can be ready for that night all right i'm a huge fan of ufc and fighting and boxing and everything so my feelings might get hurt in this but i, I definitely want to check this out that's like propane oh hey. Man, you lay up that cocaine. already wait what what the fuck was that Okay, so I guess he just did a little snippet. Hold on, let me read what this says. Uh, the events and subject matter portrayed in this song and video are fictitious and should not be taken as factual reporting. All public figure or celebrity depictions, likeness, and voices are strictly intended to be impersonation and personality parody. This video and song are merely an opinion and artistic interpretation. So that is clearly there. So my man does not get sued for defamation of character and libel and all kinds of other shit. So uh, kudos, I guess. But um, I like the flutes that I heard in that rap instrumental already. He's already thrown at a bar about him, you know, sniffing the cocaine and stuff. That's like one of the long-term disses everybody says about Dana. Let's see Dana, what's in here. For that cocaine? Man. Man's just out here three, four years of straight boxing training. Just going to drop a diss track out of nowhere. 12 oh, We got a skit. Well, you will be risking your life, but if you keep on winning, you could be rich like McGregor. So what about long term Damn. That's not Cyborg, Don't worry about it? that right now. Just sign on the dotted line or no one's going to know who you are. No way that, I don't know, I haven't seen her up close that much. And her hair is always back every time I see her. There's no way they actually got Cyborg. I feel like I'm just kind of seeing shit. They do all the work. We make all the money. They never read the cards. Damn. <laughs> we got a lot to like. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. We're tired of you treating fighters like this. You greedy, bald bitch. Look at your board. Raise pay-per-view <laughs> prices and pay fighters less. You're sweating like a pig. Send so Connor the I love you shit, text. <laughs> Now everybody from the UFC. Okay, uh, okay. hold on. We're, we're, we're getting into the 8 Mile Eminem thing that he did at the rap battle. But hold on. I want to talk about this skit because this skit might be like the best part of this whole disc because this is like a lot of little shady shots just pop, pop, pop in skit form. So I, I do appreciate that. Uh, the, <laughs> send the Connor I love you text. That was, that was a funny little tidbit right there. Um, man, that is like a common thing that, you know, the UFC makes a fuckload of money and they don't pay their fighters enough. I don't know the whole ins and outs of everything. I know there's a lot of money that has to be spent to make all that stuff work, but I do know that uh, boxing pays people a fuckload of money compared to the UFC if you're not like a huge star. So like the 12K a fight is probably like a high number for a lot of people. I know a ton of people that fight and are like working daytime jobs to try to keep themselves um, going in life. So that's probably an accurate representation now as far as like the extraness of him being greedy it's like we got her locked up for life she doesn't read the contracts they're so stupid that stuff's a little bit over exaggerated obviously but uh there is a little bit of truth behind all of this you greedy bald let's bitch. see what this look at your board <laughs> you greedy Raise bald bitch. prices okay. and pay fighters less it pisses me off because i don't like jake paul at all this <laughs> but this is funny down. now everybody from the ufc put your motherfucking uh. hands up and follow me yeah. Jesus Christ. From the UFC. Let's go. Put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Let's go. Fuck Dana. Yeah. Fuck Dana White. Yeah. Fuck Dana. Yeah. Fuck Dana yeah. White. Yeah. Fuck Dana. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Dana. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Dana White. Fuck Dana. 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 Fuck Dana White. Fuck
first of all, Masvidal, you ain't rich. 50 fights for five mil, that ain't shit. Underpaid fights, where the healthcare rights? Got them risking all their lives and they can't quit. Big bags, that's the shit I came with. I like having money conversations. All that little Stockton shit is cool, but that list got me thinking, do you speak a different language? All the greatness speaking. Oh my God. Okay, so. I feel like, dude, I say this every time that I feel like somebody helps him write some of this newer stuff because it's just completely night and day from the writing styles of his older stuff. He's got, uh, he's got compound rhymes. So what that is, is uh, he has the, the, the end words rhyme, obviously, but he's also got schemes set up inside that also rhyme. So it's, it's really hard to really describe that. Uh, let me try and, so like. First of uh, all, my. Masvidal, you First ain't all, rich. Masvidal, you ain't rich. That's the right fights right there. for five mil, that ain't shit. Ain't shit. Underpaid fights. Where the healthcare rights? Got them risking all their lives and they can't quit. Can't quit. Okay, so underpaid fights where the healthcare rights. Then they try to save their lives, but they can't quit. So he, it's a recall rhyme where he's like, you ain't rich. That ain't shit. Can't quit. But in the middle, he's got the healthcare rights. That rhyme scheme. So that's what I was talking about right there. Um, but let me back it up a little bit. A little bit more. Masvidal has fought in a fuck ton Masvidal, of fights. Masvidal, you ain't for rich. Sure. <laughs> 50 fights for five mil, that ain't shit. Underpaid fights, where the healthcare rights? Got them risking all their lives and they can't quit. Big bags, that's the shit I came with. I like having money conversations. All that little Stockton shit is cool, but that list got me thinking, do you speak a different language? All the greatness speaking for itself, boy. That, that was a little Nate Diaz, because they have the Stockton slap that they do. Nate and uh, Nick Diaz use the Stockton slap. They're like the only people I know that do that. And they both talk with a little bit of a lisp. Specifically, uh, Nate does. And I know they've gone back and forth. So that's definitely a shot at Nate Diaz right there. And I know uh, Jake and Jorge Masvidal have had some back and forth too, which is funny because I'm pretty sure Jorge Masvidal trained Jake for like one day whenever he fought Ben Askren. So it's funny to see that kind of that right there. got me thinking, do you speak a different language? I'll slap you. All the greatness speaking for itself, boy. I'll slap you. All you fight is just a bunch of shelf toys. Dana, won't you let him off the leash? Let him come and make some breach. Why you try to fuck the nut, boys? Mm. Walked in on demon time. Dana, it's a lot I know you keep inside. You be on my dick like you don't got a wife and kids. Go put your focus on them hookers that you try to hide. God damn, In the main back seat reclining. Knock out of the year and I'ma keep inclining. Draco fight a box the shit I tried. And he pussy it out because they know how I'm coming so they keep on hiding. <laughs> Dana lacking infrastructure. That was, that a, oh, was that a Tommy Fury thing right there? Yo, the rhyme schemes are like very nice. Like very set up. They're set up very well. And it's really pissing me off. Sparring partner believes that Tommy Fury's, <laughs> that Tommy Fury, Fuck, Tommy Fury avoided family embarrassment pulling out of his plane fight this weekend. Uh, I, I do hope to see that fight. I've never thought that Tommy Fury was very good anyway just because of his competition, and I think that fight would have been overhyped anyway. I would like to see Jake fight somebody a little bit of a higher standard than Tommy. Uh, I know he's got the the name of Tyson Fury and stuff like that, but uh, like as an actual boxer, he's not incredible by any means. they know how I'm coming, so they keep on hiding. <laughs> Dana lacking infrastructure. That ball bitch should have stayed a kickbox instructor. Oops. Since could be retired, you just cannot recover. You bankrupt. Fertitas went and pulled you out the dumpster. Dummy. All gas like propane. Yeah. Dana, won't you lay off all that cocaine? First he said my fights are fixed, and now he says steroids. Shit, I'm really on an island eating lo mein. Chilling. McGregor, Damn. I ain't seen you win in five years. You rich little weirdo, ugly ass veneers. Took so many losses, wound it up in VMAs. Trying to fight with MGK, no surprise here. Lamborghini. Bro, what the fuck are these rhyme schemes? Somebody else wrote this shit for him. Sorry. Trying to fight with. I don't know if they did or not. I'm. I'm, I'm it sounds like somebody was in the studio like he probably said what he wanted to say in somebody else's layers like okay word it like this this and this because the rhyme schemes and stuff are written like a fucking actual rapper five wrote years. this shit and it's really pissing me off Low main, Sorry. Chilling. McGregor I ain't seen you win in five years you rich little weirdo ugly ass veneers took so many losses wound it up in VMAs trying to fight with MGK no surprise here Lamborghini boat but your career is sinking really got me wondering what D is thinking I ain't even dissing now I'm really speaking wound it up in Jail too many times without a liquor drinking. Fuck Dana, yeah. fuck Dana White, fuck Dana, fuck Dana White. They done got the prom child rapping now. You about to witness Dana tapping out. Thought this shit was funny when we started. Now it's quarterback and money. I'm a homes the way I'm cashing out. They done got the prom okay. child rapping now. You about to witness Dana tapping out. Thought this shit was funny when we started. Now it's quarterback and money. I'm a homes the way I'm cashing out. Dana, pay your fighters more. 
Give them health care, you scumbag. I haven't met a single person who says anything good about you. I passed my drug test and you went silent. I'm keeping my foot on your neck until you tap, bitch. Stop raising your pay-per-view prices on the fans and not paying fighters more. Greedy, old, lonely, bald bitch. God bless, man. So I, I will say that I don't think Dana and them, they don't have the rights to the pay-per-view, like the prices ESPN does. And I know ESPN raised the last pay-per-view price. Uh, I do remember seeing in an interview where like Dana doesn't control that. Obviously, it could be lying, but uh, you know, you got to take it for face value. Um, I, <laughs> dude, this is pissing me off. Even having to try to give props to this man because I've never liked him. But whatever, dude. What the fuck ever. So, uh, you know, he had some bars in there talking about like first you thought I was in steroids, then you thought my fights were or first you thought my fights were set up, then you thought I was in steroids. Approved they're not set up, approved I'm not on steroids. Like you're just gonna constantly keep finding little things to discredit me as a person and my skills. Um which I know a whole lot of people do. I'm definitely one of the skeptics, have been for a while. Uh you, you know, he's starting to prove me wrong, that's for sure. Um I don't know how I feel about it, man. It's a funny thing. It's always a funny thing seeing this stuff happen. Uh, but as far as like a rapper's perspective, like I said, I was going to break it down like that. Uh, definitely elevated rhyme schemes. Uh, his flow was there. He didn't stutter any words. He didn't murmur any words. He had the aggression. He had the intensity. Everything was there. Uh, except for like the fuck Dana, fuck Dana White. The mix was weird on that. That's the only thing I didn't really like. But the, like, the actual verse and stuff was solid. <laughs> it was solid. The skits, the video was cool. Let me know how you guys felt about this. I think I'm just rambling on. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this one, guys. And uh, yeah, until next time, it's been your boy Krypton. I'm signing out. I, I am excited to see Jake Paul fight again. Not even going to front. I, I do tune in and I buy every fucking pay-per-view and I will always buy every single pay-per-view just to see what happens. Not even to see Jake get knocked out, not to see Jake knock somebody out, but just like just to see the undercards, experience the whole thing, because I've always liked all of them. Even the Triller one that everybody said was a disaster. It kind of pissed me off with all the songs, but like listening to Snoop Dogg commentate and stuff, that was hilarious to me. Uh, it's always just a big entertainment thing to me. So I'm always going to buy a Jake Paul pay-per-view. I don't give a fuck. Always will. I would gladly give that man my money so I can watch that entertainment. I think it's great. But yeah, I'm, I'm rambling now. Love you guys. See you all in the next video. And let's see if something transpires out of this. Cause I would love to see Jake in the MMA. And specifically, dude, if he fight if he fought Jorge Masvidal or Nate Diaz, either one, I'd rather see him fight Jorge. I feel like that would be uh, a better fight. Cause Nate, I don't know. Nate gets hit a lot. He doesn't give a fuck. I don't know. I think it, I think it would be fun both ways. But that's it. Love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Uh, this is my new song dropping next Friday. Pre-save it, please. Love you. I'm done talking. Ooh, 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 ooh,